on May 4th, the year of our Lord 2000, so 20 years ago, at approximately 11.29 a.m., the following email was sent out. And I've got a, I've got a screenshot of that here. Uh, uh, thanks to the folks over at Wikipedia for having this screenshot at the ready. So that's fantastic. Um, this, this screenshot of this email is known as the I love you worm, the I love you virus. Uh, this email contained a single file attachment with the file name of love-letter-4-u, all in caps, dot txt dot vbs. <laughs> which was a VB script file that I think they were trying to make you believe was a text file. And depending on the settings that people had at the time, it, it might not show the .vbs portion, so it might just say .text. And the text of the letter uh, said, kindly check the attached, and I quote here, love letter, all in caps, one word, no space, coming from me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've I have never received a love letter quite like that. Um, when opened, when opened, and that little VB script, that .vbs file is double clicked on, on a Windows PC with the default settings, the VB script ran and performed the following actions. It makes multiple copies of itself, uh, including in the Windows and Windows system directories with official looking names like mskernel32.vbs and win32dll.vbs, right? Then it added registry entries so that it would start again automatically next time you booted Windows up. Then it sets the Internet Explorer homepage to link to a file called win-bugsfix.exe. That's bugs fix, not bug fixes or bug fix, bugs fix, uh, which despite the amazing sounding name it has, was another Trojan that actually tries to steal passwords which it then emails out. So it, 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 you type in passwords and it just, or you know, it finds passwords on your system and it emails them out to a pre-configured email address. Uh, a little tidbit here. It contained a copyright text. This is totally real. This is a virus with copyright text in it that reads as follows. And I quote, Barack dot, dot, dot. I hate go to school suck. <laughs> by Spider, copyright 2000, Grammarsoft Group, Manila, Philippines. So uh, the important part here is that it says, I hate go to school suck. <laughs> it's part of the copyright text. That's just so great. Um, okay. Uh, so then it then it then goes and searches through a user's Microsoft Outlook address book, and it sends an email to every contact uh, that you have in your address book with a copy of the virus attached. So if you got, you know, your boss in your address book, it sends your boss love letter for you. <laughs> it then sends an HTML file. If you're using it via MIRC, which is a popular windows IRC client, especially at the time, um, every time you join an IRC channel. So <laughs> that HTML file love letter for you dot HTM uh, naturally was not an actual love letter. Uh, I hate to, to spoil the surprise, but it was the virus as well. It then, it then gets really nasty. I love you. <laughs> Just the greatest name for a virus. Searches every drive connected to your Windows PC, including network shares, the removable media, everything. And it replaces all .js, .css, and a bunch of other uh, uh, file types. And it deletes them. It finds them. It deletes them. And it replaces them with copies of the virus. Uh, it just would, would modify the name ever so slightly. So it would be the name that it deleted .vbs. Uh, it then does the same thing for, and I think this is just mean, uh, for all JPEGs and MP3s as well. I and mean, that's just spiteful. <laughs> Let's just delete everyone's pictures and music. Um, so what it did specifically is it deletes the original so and creates a, a new file containing the virus script with the same name as the deleted file plus .vbs. BBS. So, for example, if you had the amazing uh, Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton hit Islands in the Stream, that is what we are. Uh, so let's say you had Islands in the Stream .mp3. That gets deleted. And then Islands in the Stream .mp3 
.vbs would be created in its place with the virus. So instead of, you know, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers crooning away, uh, you got a friggin' virus. It's gnarly, right? It's just not cool. So now this, this little VB script, <laughs> this little VB script went on to infect, I know it's not a laughing matter, but I find it funny, over 10 million Windows PCs. 10 million. It, it impacted the systems of governments around the world, including the British Parliament, the CIA, and the Pentagon. And it cost an estimated 15 billion dollars US to deal with. 15 billion dollars of VB script. And it was all caused by a college student in the Philippines who, and this is really fascinating to me, was never prosecuted. They knew it was him. <laughs> he was never prosecuted. Now he stated, because he admitted to it, he admitted it to it more formally later, but he admitted to it. He stated that he created I love you to uh, that's all in caps and there's no spaces. So you have to shout it all together. I love you. He created it to steal dial up Internet access passwords. That's why he created it. That's why he says he created it, because and I'm not even joking here. He felt like dial up Internet access was too expensive and in it in some places it really was, but that's not a joke. That is the actual reason that this virus was created. So to recap, files deleted across 10 million or more than that PCs, costing billions and billions and billions of dollars in damages and brought government agencies and companies to a halt, all because a guy in the Philippines didn't want to pay for dial-up internet access and instead decided to write a VB script. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just insane. That is the world we live in. Uh, that, that guy now, by the way, um, there's, a, there's a link in the article. If you go to lunduke.com and, and read the article, uh, if you click on the link uh, for the, the college student in the Philippines, it goes to a BBC article where the BBC reporter, I think it was with the BBC, it was either The Guardian or the BBC, one of the British ones, uh, actually went to the Philippines to track this guy down and managed to track down this guy. And he was working at a mall repairing cell phones. So he was repairing people's like smartphones or whatever in, in a mall in the Philippines. So, so this guy who caused this much damage is now just repairing cell phones in the Philippines. Never, never went to jail, never had a big giant fine or anything like that. Just whatever destroyed, destroyed so many copies of islands in the stream. <laughs> I, I can only assume, um, before we head out a big thank you to all of you who help support this show, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you that help, help keep the, the Lunduke journal a rocking and, uh, allow me to do this, this crazy shenanigans that I get to do every day. Uh, thank you. Uh, you're amazing. All of you are amazing. If you're not currently a supporter of the Lunduke journal, go to lunduke.com. There's a support the Lunduke journal link down there in the bottom left hand side. Click it, click it, subscribe to things, you know, toss a buck here, a buck there, buy a hat, buy a shirt, <laughs> whatever, whatever you can, whatever you, you want to do, whatever you feel like you're, you're up for. Uh, but uh, if you can't, no worries. But if you can, man, God bless you. Uh, and also big thanks to Linode. Couldn't do the show without without Linode. Linode helps to make it possible. Go to linode.com slash Lunduke. Uh, you get an extra $20 credit to apply towards whatever kind of server you want to use over at Linode. So you want to set up a WordPress site, boom, one click, boom, you set up a WordPress site. Want to do something a little bit more funky? Just set up a Linux server over there, install Nextcloud on it, install a MUD on it. Just have an SSH box that you can just SSH into and just play around with uh whatever you want to do linode's got good prices and they got data centers like all over the world and tons of continents it's absolutely amazing so linode.com slash lunduke or the the links over at lunduke.com <laughs> all right this has been your your little bit of uh computer history for the day and i will see you guys tomorrow